Okay, so here what we're doing is we're looking for uh, determine the value of x where y equals 13 for each of these, uh, for each of the following. So uh, a couple of ways we can go about this, we can either do it um, in the calculator page, which we'll go through, uh, we'll define functions, but you don't have to, just like don't have to for this one, and then you can also graph it as well. So uh, we're looking x squared plus 5x plus 6 equals 13. So like I said, a couple of ways we can do this. Where's Kaz? So we'll say um, solve. We write down the equation x squared plus 5x plus 6. x squared plus 5x plus 6 equals 13. So we're after for x. And that's all we have to do. And give us our values there. So it happens at, at, uh, at these values here. <coughs> Um, term of the value of x, so it's just the value of x, so that's what we'd end up with uh, with there. Um, we can do it through defining the function as well, and, and I recommend doing that because you define a function and it's there. So let's have a look at the next one. Uh, x squared minus 36, so we'll say define f of x equal, and I've started a new page so I can go on and use these, var uh, these variables. Uh, f uh, x squared minus 36, x squared minus 36. We're saying solve f of x equals 13 for x. And tell us it happens at negative 7 and positive 7. Now, I did say we can do it in the calculator page as well, so that's what we'll have a look at. So we'll go to the next one, go to the calculator page, and we'll graph a function. So let's say this x squared plus 15x minus 54. x squared plus 15x minus 54. Whoops. And there we can see that's where our graph is. I just check to make sure I've got it correct. Yep. All right. So with this, what we're going to do is we're going to zoom right out. Window settings will say negative 20, 20, negative 20, and 20. I'm just giving really big numbers. Okay. So now we can see where our graph is. Now we are looking for where that graph intersects with y equals 13. So we draw another graph and call it 13. And there it is. So we're looking for where these points are. So now we'll go to menu, analyze graph, intersection, lower boundary, upper boundary. Here we have, so it happens at 3.6 and 13. Do it again, menu, analyze graph, intersection, there we have it again. So um, like I said in the previous video, if you watched it of course, this gives us a decimal answer. You may not want decimals. If they say decimals, go nuts. Just do it in, in, in the calculator page. If they want an exact answer, well, then you've got to do it in the um, do it in the calculator page with uh, using solve. So that's how we go about finding uh, x values when you're given a y value.